Alright everybody, I just want to show you what this tractor did. It left squeal marks on this. Coming in the garage, see it burnt rubber right there completely. Um, show us outside. Left marks coming through here. All the way around there. And through the yard. Because that tractor right there. The uh, rear end is locked in here. So it literally drug that tractor through the yard and out of a pit that deep. In sixth gear and not revved up. At idle, it did it. This tractor right here is a beast and didn't heat up that much from all the force. Um, now, this tractor right here. I mean, look at the engine comparison size. So you can see right there, 12 horse, small engine. Right here, 12 horse. See what's going on. This right here is this three more, three more horsepower, but two cylinders, rather just one, giving you the extra consistent power. Chug. I guess you could say. Um, the only problem is this rear end is kind of below in third gear, and all the gears have a skip in them. So I'm going, it'll go kind of kink, uh, kink is going, and it <laughs> sounds like that actually, it's going up, like I was hauling it up, right, and it just did a slip, and it wouldn't move, it was going k -k 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 right in the middle, right, I was worried I blew the transmission out, so being made, I shifted it to third gear, which is a blown gear, pop the clutch a little bit, and just get it to kind of move a little bit, and then put it back in like fifth. Rev the engine up to about I don't know two k. Pop the clutch and matted it, and he just pulled a wheelie about a foot off the ground. I mean, this tractor, I have put it through anything you can imagine: mud, snow, flipping over. So you can see, uh, I can't really see damage done from it, but kind of I bet the seat right. There, bent the seat. Um, got to pound everything else out though. On, the, on these trackers right here, if it flipped over, 